we are on the highway from Amman going to Azraq. This camp is uh, about one and a half hours drive away from Amman. And it is planned to accommodate at least 50,000 Syrian refugees in the first phase. And it has a maximum capacity of up to 130,000 refugees. The first thing that came to my mind was it doesn't, it doesn't look feasible because as you can see there's virtually little sign of life in terms of vegetation or even animals and it's, it's just in the middle of nowhere. However, we've been coming you know, over the two months, two and a half months and we have seen the place evolve from the red road network now being in place to the facilities we are planning for the septic tanks and water. So it's becoming real. The site planners and all the people involved agreed that they will limit the number of settlement uh, tents within an area to make it more homely. So we've agreed on six tents per extended family compound. And in each of those family compounds, there will be two latrine units. At last, we've got the septic tanks that have arrived from Amman, and the crane is lifting them off the truck now. And they will go into the latrine pit. Really, this is a moment we've been waiting for, and we are just, you know, excited about it. And we're very hopeful that it fits well, and it serves the purpose for which we have wanted it to. Nearly there, nearly there. We're excited now. We've got our first prototype ready. Nearly ready. This is one of the highest points in the camp, and this is where our main storage tanks will be sited. And it will deliver water by gravity right down to village three and up to village two. So the trucks that brought in the plastic pipes um, is uploading them now and these pipes will go in the trench here and will get connected up at the storage tank location and this is where water will flow from the storage tanks through the pipe to public tap stands where people will fetch water and take to their home states. From the pipe there's a place for people to collect water. You are making the taps? We shall make the concrete slab yeah. and, put the, and put the tank, tank yes. And make connection in terms of time span, as you can see, the terrain is harsh. Environment in terms of weather is going to be difficult for everybody. But um, we hope these facilities and services we put in place will help you know, make it more habitable for the refugees.